So let's talk a little about the Soft Kinks HD. The Soft Kinks wig comes in two different types, two different models. There's the regular Soft Kinks, which is a bit shorter and less voluminous. And then there's this, the Soft Kinks HD, which is a bit longer and quite more voluminous than the regular Soft Kinks. This is for somebody who wants a more dramatic, just fuller look. Some of the questions that we get about this wig are concerning the density, the length, the cap construction. So I'm gonna to try to answer all those questions and hopefully a couple more. In terms of density, this wig is pretty dense. Um, it has a lot of movement, even though it's like kinky and curly, it still has like individuality in the strands, which makes it able to move nicely, especially like if the wind is blowing or something, it moves quite naturally. In terms of length, well, I'll show you actually a, the wig off the head. This is what it looks like in the back. This is what the inside of the cap looks like. So when you receive this unit, you want to make sure that the finger comber tag is at the top of the wig, not in the back. Sometimes we have ladies turning the wig upside down and not being too happy with how it looks. So with this unit, the label is in the front of the unit. This unit comes with accordion clips in the front and in the back. And in addition to those, it has these little adjustable straps on either side near the nape of the neck. The construction is that it's a lace, very closely uh, sewn top. And in the back, because we want to have ven ventilation and not like too, too much um, volume, there is some space in between. It's designed like this really for there to be breathability. This is not something that's super unique to us, but we do like this feature in the design and it has breathability. Some of the other questions that people are asking uh, is what length is this? So that's a really good question because since this is layered, that answer is not so, so straightforward. I want to just demonstrate for you what the length actually is like. If you're looking from the crown of your head to like the bottom where it naturally falls, it's about 17, 18 inches, roughly, something like that, about 18 inches. If you are to stretch out, stretch it out like at the bottom, then you're looking at about 22 inches. It stretches out to 21, 22 inches. Now, that also is not super accurate if you want to talk about like what length the actual strands are. Since this is layered, the strands are pretty much the same length at the top as they are at the bottom. So maybe a, there may be some variation. So if you're looking at this just curled, it's about 11 inches. If you stretch it out, it's by, like about 15 inches. The bottom is, let's see, this is like the side the, we'll go to the bottom. The bottom is pretty much the same. You're just gonna stretch it out and see that it's layered, but you know, people want to know, oh, is it 22 inches? Where does it fall? But um, if you're looking from at the top to, to your shoulders, you can sort of get an idea of where it's going to fall. If you are planning on ordering this wig and you wanna see like, where is it gonna fall on you? My suggestion would be to take a tape measure, put it at the top of your head and look at about 17, 18 inches down. And that's where this unit would fall on you. 
So in terms of what the style is sort of like or, or the texture itself is like, it is a kinky, wavy, curly unit. It's not our tightest, tightest kink, but it can be used if you have up to 4C hair. And if there's something even kinkier than 4C, then it would work with that too. Because even though it has like a little bit of a wave to it, it still has a fairly kinky appearance. So I hope that that answers some of the questions you have. And I don't know if you can tell by the light, but this particular unit is a, um, a darkest, uh, let's see, what is this? Darkest espresso, dark espresso. I think that's what it is. But it's like what is commonly referred to as a number two. So I hope that that's helpful and we'll try to come back with more information about other units, just the details so that you can understand these units a little bit better.